Hey guys, uh, welcome to another episode of Spoilers. Um, I'm outside the BlueGamer.net offices, dog barking. Um, it's a nice, cool, breezy day. Yeah, is the dog barking going to be an issue? Okay. Uh, it's a nice, cool, uh, breezy, raining sort of day here in Texas, actually, in May. Uh, but anyway, enough of that. Blood Dragon. Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. Have you played it yet? Have you played it yet? Is that too much? <laughs> Is there, okay, are they outside walking? Or? No. It looks like they're in a balcony. Uh, we can roll with it. There'll be some barking in the background. Okay. All right. And we can add some of this. It'll be funny. Anyway. Um... So Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon is incredible. I beat it. Beat it really quick. It's a short game. 15 bucks, kind of worth it. But it's like the most incredible game I've ever played. There's so much that happened that spoke to me. It just blew my mind, okay? And I'll start last year. Uh, Double Dragon Neon, Way Forward Technologies. Awesome game. It's like they, they embraced what Double Dragon was, just 80s. The music is incredible. Uh, the graphics, everything pink, neon. I loved it. And I, I even made the the main artwork, my desktop background, because it just looks so good. I just loved it. And then shortly after that, I saw this trailer for a movie called Miami Connection, another 80s movie. It actually came out in the 80s, but did horrible, so nothing ever happened to it. Some guy bought it uh, on eBay last year, decided to remaster it and release it in theaters as just an homage to just 80s in general. It's They made a badass poster that I've been wanting to just buy and put up on my wall. It's just some guy doing some kung fu pose, and then he got like pink neon and everything, and it's just incredible. And I've, I'm falling in love with this style. Um, shortly after that, actually the same year, Drive came out. Ryan Gosling, Drive. Awesome movie. Interesting music. I love the music, and it had an 80s vibe to it. I was like, man, I'm digging this stuff. So then um, I was on Instagram. I follow a lot of gaming stuff, and I saw a picture of Yu Suzuki, the guy that made uh, um, Shenmue, and also did uh, uh, Outrun. And... and it showed him holding a signed album cover of, of an album called Outrun by Kavinsky. And it's him sitting next to the car from Outrun. And it, it's this DJ Kavinsky makes this awesome 80s music. And he was paying homage to Outrun, stuff from the 80s. And it was all coming together. I'm like, all this stuff is incredible. I'm finding out about this world, this stuff, and I'm loving it. Um, so I'm sitting there watching Miami Connection playing Double Dragon, listening to Gavinsky, like I'm loving this new 80s style. And then they leaked the artwork for this Blood Dragon, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, and it's pink, and it's 80s looking. It has Michael Bean, an 80s action star, like on the cover, holding what looked like Robo's, Robocop's gun. And I'm like, what's going on here? The game released. The music is by this uh, band, uh, Power Glove. It's awesome 80s music, and it just... It just blew me away. I'm playing this game, and it's just everything is 80s. Everything is awesome. Everything is pink. Um, it, it, Far Cry 3 is an incredible game. Gameplay is awesome. So being able to play that with all this going on, the music is incredible. The soundtrack's available uh, by Power Glove. You can download it, you know, buy it and download it, listen to it. It's awesome. So then um, I beat the game, okay? And while the story's really nothing like, oh, what's going to happen? Who's this guy? Who's that guy? It's none of that stuff. It's the end credits blew my mind. The end credits was a song from the movie Miami Connection that I just talked about that I fell in love with. It's a it's because it's just this 80s stuff. And and when I heard that music at the end, it just blew me away. I'm like, what is this? How did how did they know to create this for me? Because as far as I know, it was made for me. I mean, I started liking all this stuff. You can see a post that I linked to in my Blood Dragon review. There's a post that I made before Blood Dragon was announced where I just described all these awesome 80s things that I'm loving. And and look at my shirt. It's uh, Bill and Ted Wild Stallions. It's neon pink. I mean, it, it's just so awesome that they did this. Um, so, yeah, like I said, there's not really much to a story, but the ending is awesome. You actually ride a dinosaur shooting lasers um, to blow up stuff. I, and that's incredible. And that's like the last level you're going through doing all that. Um, and then it cuts to some awesome 8-bit 80s um, cut scenes. Um, and, and then the music starts. And it's incredible. Uh, I suggest, even if I spoiled it, for you. You need to play it. I don't think a lot of people have seen Miami Connection uh, and might not know about the two songs. It's the band in the movie's called Dragon Sound and they have these awesome 80s rock songs. 
And uh, the fact that it ended with that just blew my mind. Dean Evans, the creator, you can find him on Twitter, Spleenzilla. It, 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 he did an amazing job. Apparently it sold incredible, so there could be a sequel. Michael Bean even mentioned something about a sequel being in talks. Uh, so it'd be incredible. I suggest anyone, PC, Xbox, PS3, whatever, download it, 15 bucks, play it, have fun, and long live the 80s. Here again with uh, another Week in Gaming from WeGamer.net. Um, I watered my hair just a bit before I started. It, it was about... Oh, that's incorrect. That's incorrect. So anyway, we're going to talk about Bioshock Infinite. Um, I've beaten it. I beat it in like three days. It was so fun. 